watching the bread. Chest of the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tell. Chest of the bread. Chest of the bread. Chest of the bread. What's up? Wait, first of all. Is everything focused? Is everything good? If there's a little glare, I apologize. I tried to wipe the camera lens as good as possible, but I think it's always gonna have like a little smudge. But hey y'all, oh, let me turn this PS4. And yes, I said PS4, cause I can't find a PS5 that's not a million dollars. So let's not do that, okay? Let me put it to sleep real quick because I know y'all hear that. It sounds like a fan, okay. Go to sleep. Good night. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, hurry up. Y'all know the drill. Like, why do I even have to tell you to subscribe at this point? Like, you really should just be subscribed, honestly. It should be muscle memory. Come on now. As you guys can see by the title, I'm doing another story time. Y'all's favorite videos. But I do want to thank you guys for showing love to my last vlog. And um, the next vlog that I'll be posting, if you guys show the same love or more, I'm going to post even more story times. Y'all know how it goes. This is a transactional relationship, okay? You show love to my other videos and my vlogs and stuff like that. And I post more of y'all's favorite videos, which are story times. Because I got plenty of stories left. I want to preface this whole story time by saying I get it. I get it. I let people, well, I don't let people take advantage of me because once I realize that you're trying to take advantage of me, boop or you're cut off. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I let people take advantage of me. It's just that a lot of people try to take advantage of me and I just have bad luck with people. A lot of times I am naive or a lot of times I let people slide a little bit too easily. But this situation really came out of the blue and it's really unfortunate like i'm really low-key pissed about it we're gonna name this girl um that the story time is about so we're gonna name her op we're gonna name her op she's not necessarily my op but she's definitely an opportunist so i think i want to name her op little bit of backstory you guys know that i am um i have a pretty small friend group i do have a hard time with Meeting new people that end up being weird or end up being just malicious, have bad intentions for me. Um, and yeah, if you guys seen that video where I went to Miami and basically I met a girl there and she ended up running off on me, um, stealing from me or whatever, and I didn't know any way to contact her or anything. Yeah, I have bad luck with people, meeting new people sometimes, but just want to say that no bad experience that i've ever had with somebody is going to change the kind of person that i am i am a welcoming person i'm always down to make new friends um it's definitely going to make me more weary of people and more skeptical of doing that but i'm never going to just stop making new friends because of you know a couple bad situations meeting new friends it's just not it's just not gonna happen like that this girl op is somebody that hit me up on instagram so i'm just chilling on a random day i don't even know what day it was but this was about a month or two ago like this whole situation was just occurring and it's crazy because while it was happening you guys in the back of my head like the first couple situations that happened i was like oh my gosh i hope this is not gonna turn into a story time like i really hope this girl is not about to piss me off in some type of way and before anybody's like oh my gosh somebody just pisses you off and you just make a story time about them um yeah. <laughs> i don't know if a crazy or a weird situation happens to me and it's worth you know if it's story time worthy i'm gonna tell story time so not too much on me okay i'm just chilling on my phone one day and i check my email and i check my um instagram dms daily i don't respond to all my dms but i definitely um i definitely go through my instagram dms every day and i look at my dms or whatever and i check my dm and i got a dm from op i don't recognize her instagram but um i see that her bio says atlanta and she's a young fly bitch or whatever i'm not necessarily the type of person to want to be friends with somebody because they can dress they got materialistic things they're pretty nothing like that i feel like it's a big red flag when somebody wants to be your friend because you're pretty or because you look good and you'll just look like a good you know accessory to them like i don't like those type of friendships i think it's very strange um now if somebody compliments you and they're like oh my god you're so pretty and you seem fun i would like to be your friend and that's different but if somebody just you know bases wanting to be your friend off of how you look or what clothes you got or what you got on and stuff like that i feel like that's very disingenuous and weird so she dms me and she actually doesn't say anything about my look she's just like oh my gosh girl you seem so fun i want to be your friend now 
when she says you seem so fun i'm thinking automatically off the bat like based off of my videos my youtube videos my tiktoks or something because i don't really make reels like funny reels or nothing like that i really just go on instagram to be a young fly turnt pretty bitch i know that's right <laughs> um and post my fits and post my stuff just looking cute i don't really post anything too funny on there or nothing and i don't really have too many links to all my social media on there either so i just thought that she was somebody coming from another social media platforms like one of my supporters or whatever so i'm just like um omg i appreciate you for watching my videos like thank you i was like i appreciate you for watching my videos all my supporters are my friends um just something like that like i always tell my supporters like girl you're already my friend a lot of my supporters dm me and be like i wish we could be friends and i'm always like girl you are my friend we are friends we're besties like are you dumb so i was just on that type of vibe and she was like oh i didn't know you made videos or whatever and she was like my friend reposted your picture and i just thought that she was like pretty or whatever so i was a little bit confused at that point because i'm like you just said that i seem fun and now you're saying that your friend reposted my picture and that you thought i was pretty so do you want to be my friend because i'm pretty or do you want to be my friend because you know what i'm saying you thought that i looked fun like how do i look fun what do you mean but i wasn't thinking about it over like over analyzing or thinking about it deep i was just like okay i'm always open to new friends y'all and i do need more friends in the city like i don't have a lot a lot of friends in atlanta um a lot of my old friends from high school and college i'm not friends with anymore a lot of them moved out of state and go to another school or i don't go to school but um a lot of them go to school and like out of state or whatever and then the ones that i do have that are going to school here are just super busy all the time so i need more friends that are just wanting to do you know spooky activities and stuff like that because y'all the type of friend that I am no shade to girls who like to go out to the club a lot or who like to go to the lounge a lot I'm not one of those friends I will pop out on the streets every once in a while but that's just not my vibe um not because I'm too good for it or nothing but I'm 21 years old and when I was like 15 y'all 15 to like like 20 I was doing that with my sister-in-law she's 25 so she was always older than me and she's been in my life for like five years and she took me to my first lounge to my first club um she gave me my first drinks like i'm completely over the whole party life on top of that my anxiety is too bad i do not like going out and partying a lot i just don't like that like it's not really my vibe but once in a while i'll do it um go out and get me a little cute lemon drop pop out for a few songs and then i'm out of there like i like to leave when i'm ready to leave um a lot of my friends that go to the lounges they like to go to a lounge then into another lounge they like to just be out all night which like i said i can do that once in a while once every blue moon but that's just not my vibe for every night and i i tend to meet a lot of females in atlanta or a lot of women in atlanta who just like to do the party life thing like y'all hookah got brought to the a like a couple years ago probably like 2015 and just it's stuck like that's all bitches like to do and i'm not even trying to make nobody mad if that's your vibe that's you and be you know unapologetic about it if you like to do hookah if you like to go out and club and that's just what you do then that's what you do but for me i do not like having friends that that's all they like to do i like to do fun shit i like to cook let's cook together let's binge watch pretty little liars all over again or let's watch a new show let's watch movies and cook and and carve pumpkins if it's the season like you know what i'm saying i like to do fun stuff let's go to the to the escape room let's go to the skating rink like let's do fun stuff together i don't like to do all that sitting in the club talking looking at niggas and smoking hookah i don't even smoke i don't smoke hookah i don't smoke weed and like i just don't like to do that i feel like it's a waste of money i feel like there's so much more fun shit you could do with your money than go to the club so that being said um yeah so me and op are talking or whatever and i'm over here under the impression that she's a supporter of mine and y'all i'm never too i'm never too ill to say what up like i'm never too ill or i'm never too cool or too big to be cool with my supporters like there are plenty of supporters and i bet there will be somebody in the comments that can attest to this i am cool with my supporters there are some of my supporters that i talk to on the daily there's this girl tofu and tattoos on instagram she's an older lady at that like she's older than me she has a kid and everything and me and her are in constant contact like we keep in, in touch with each other and she's a supporter of mine like i love being in touch with you guys i know all influencers youtubers and people say that but there's a lot of supporters of mine that can tell you you can hit me some of them have my number and text me for advice like i'm really i'm humble as shit that's all i'm trying to say so she ends up saying like oh i didn't know you made videos this is the only red flag that i should have peeped and i should have thought about which i didn't realize until after the fact so 
keep in mind when I'm telling y'all this that I didn't peep this off rip like I just listened to her and I just followed her back and then that was it but looking back after the whole situation happened me and her have no mutuals we have no mutuals none of my friends follow her and she doesn't follow none of my friends so her telling me that one of my friends reposted my picture and that's where she followed me off of or whatever I should have known that that was BS from her, the moment she said that because Instagram has a handy dandy little feature that lets you know who your mutuals are. So that was my bad. Okay. I'll take accountability for that one. I didn't care to ask her who the friend was or nothing. I was just like assuming because Atlanta is a small ass city. It's a big city, but it's a small city. It's a small world at that. Like all my friends know each other. You find a dude's Instagram. He's following all your friends. Like the, the city of Atlanta is just it's like this she gets my phone number or whatever and we start texting now i am a pretty shitty texter but one thing about me is i feel like if you want to talk to somebody you're going to talk to somebody using the excuse that you're just a bad texter can only go so far and to a certain extent you get what i'm saying there's a difference between being a bad texter and just ghosting your friend or, or not even trying to communicate with somebody it wasn't like we consistently talked like all day every day or no shit like that but we had like little conversations here and there and then we started talking about like what each other like to do it felt like 21 questions it felt like we were getting to know each other on like a romantic level not for real we didn't say nothing romantic with each other it was just like the the whole like finally hanging out thing was so dragged it was such a dragged out ass process she's telling me like yeah i like to do that type of stuff too it's about to be spooky season and like it was like two months from two months ago maybe at the most i don't really know i have to look um but yeah she's like um oh i love doing fun shit once it gets cold and scary outside we can go to the haunted house and stuff like that like we can do stuff together woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. so i'm like okay cool so a couple days later, um, we haven't planned like a, a set date to hang out or nothing. We're just like, um, let me know when you're free. She works um, and y'all know social media is my job. So I don't really go into work nowhere or like have set days that I have to work. So I told her, um, let me know whenever you got an off day or whenever you're free. And if I'm free, we can just link up like straight like that. So she's like, okay, cool. So the, in between the time that we haven't hung out yet, we're over here talking about stuff. Um, she's kind of trauma dumping on me. I'm not going to lie. She's like, she's telling me a lot about her life, which I don't mind because I'm an open book. If I feel comfortable with you, I might let you know, you know, that my booty itch. Like, I might let you know that my big toe got a bunion on it. Like, I might tell you a little bit of TMI. Like, me and my friends, I'm very open with my friends. And some people don't like that. But me, I don't mind it. So, um, yeah, she's kind of telling me all about her life. Telling me about her, you know, childhood trauma, relationship issues and stuff like that. And everybody has their story. Everybody goes through stuff. And I'm not trying to make this video, like, a violin on my shoulder or no sentimental ass shit Because it really gets wicked in it like this shit finna get wicked she's trauma dumping on me and i'm giving her the best advice that i can um but a lot of times we would end up just switching up the conversation to something else i really didn't tell her anything personal about myself because that's just not what i do right away i don't know i'm just not comfortable with that right away with people that i don't know but i never judge nobody for being open at a whatever pace they want to be open at so she ends up telling me um, a couple days later after all the trauma dumping, she ends up telling me she wants to start a YouTube channel. I feel like there's room for everybody to do something. I have a, plenty of friends that started a YouTube channel after me that I repost and support and give tips to. There's friends that I help with editing, all of this stuff. But these are friends that I've already had. You know what I'm saying? Friends that I already knew that they should do YouTube. They have the personality for YouTube. Um, you know, we might collab together. Like, people that I know and trust already. So, with her telling me that she wanted to start a YouTube channel, I didn't know what her angle was telling me that. I didn't know if it was genuine. I didn't know what the hell was going on. But I was like, girl, do it. YouTube can really be a bag. YouTube can really be so much fun. Um, it can be really stressful depending on, like, you know, if you prioritize filming and all that stuff like it just depends on your schedule and what you got going on already but I really feel like you should do it if you want to do it I encourage you to do it girl and she was like okay bet and then um she's like makes her YouTube channel or whatever and I subscribe to it like she sends me her her page there's no videos on it or anything of course but she sends me her page and I subscribe to it so um a couple days later or it might have been like maybe a couple hours later I don't really know but she ends up asking me who made my banner 
who made my um youtube intro who made my song all of this stuff and um i'm not no gatekeeping ass bitch i mean for certain stuff y'all i'm very selective because i feel like there's nothing wrong with people asking you for what you have like especially if you know they just want to look like a fly bitch like you like i'll send y'all the link to my beanie i'll send you the link to anything if i see your comment and you're asking where something is i'll tell you but sometimes it gets really annoying um when somebody's just asking for every little thing that you have like for instance you can make a tiktok video in a gray gray crop top and then gray shorts like a set like a plain ass set that you could have got from walmart target amazon that you can find anywhere and bitches will be like link and then if you don't respond, they'll be like, you can't keep it out. You can't keep it out. I hate bitches like you. And it's like, relax. Literally go on Google, babe. Free ass Google. And type in gray crop top and short set. And I promise you, baby, you're going to find it. If you don't find this one, you'll find a better one or one that looks exactly the same. Relax. I sent her my graphic um, editor or whatever it's called. My graphic, uh, what is it called? Damn my media graphic designer i don't know what it's called but i sent her the person who does my um intro for me or whatever and she asked me what i used to edit and i told her i use final cut pro and yeah she asked me what camera i use i told her the can the canon g7x smart 2 it's not necessarily that she's asking me that that's the problem but y'all when i tell y'all our conversations took a 360 like a whole 360 whole 180 whatever it is went from us talking about what we like to do like things going on in our lives what we're gonna do when we hang out sending each other tiktoks to just her asking me about youtube 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 how do i do this do you think that you can help me edit my first video woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. and i was like um yeah when you, whenever you make your first video um if you need help with little things i can help you with that but I learned how to edit through this video and I sent her the same video that I watched learning how to use Final Cut Pro. I even told her Final Cut Pro can cost up to 200 something dollars. So if you want to start off with iMovie, iMovie can be really good for start. I sent her how to use iMovie. I sent her the link to that and I was like, if you follow this, you're going to get it down. Like I'm not the best editor in the world, but I learned how to edit through these videos or whatever. And she's just like, oh, thank you. Like, I appreciate you or whatever. You're so helpful. And I'm like, yeah, for sure. So I am up texting her like probably the next day asking her um did you know when you'll be free like when your next off day is or whatever and she's just like oh um i just want to wait for two weeks from now till i get this package in um i don't really want to do nothing until i get this package i'm really excited for it um so let's just hang out she was like she gave me a date like literally let's say that it was the first that we were talking she was like let's hang out on the 14th and i was just like I didn't know what package she was talking about and y'all like again when you're in these situations you're not thinking about like what do you mean by that like you're not as inquisitive as you are like you once you think about the whole situation in retrospect like i'm just like okay i'm not about to tell this bitch that she doesn't need to wait for a package to hang out with me if you're waiting for a package you're waiting for a package so i'm just like okay cool the 14th so let's pretend it was the 14th so me and her are literally like talking about youtube she's asking me like what's the worst thing about being a youtuber what do i like about being a youtuber what made me want to be a youtuber and at this point i'm like girl you might as well go on my youtube and just watch my q a and all these questions you asking me about youtube are all on there like why are you asking me about youtube why can't we talk about some other shit like who like okay for instance, I get that me doing being a YouTuber and stuff is a different job than like a nine to five. But let's pretend that I work at Hooters and I go to work almost every motherfucking day. And then I meet a friend and all they want to talk about is Hooters. I don't want to talk about YouTube 24 seven with you. I don't want to talk about social media. I don't want to talk about none of this shit with you all day long. Like me and my friends, me and my friends do not talk about YouTube. And even my YouTube friends, we don't talk about YouTube 24 seven. We talk about real life we very rarely talk about youtube like i don't want to talk about that the 14th runs around and even though i'm feeling like kind of some type of way about how she just got like talked about nothing but youtube with me at the same time i was like maybe she's just super excited maybe she has wanted to do youtube because i'm not the creator of doing youtube like i didn't i didn't start the trend of doing youtube videos like Come on now. Op ends up telling me um, on the 14th, she sends me a picture of a package that came in. And y'all, it's literally the G7X Mark II, which I don't care. I literally gave her the name of my camera with all expectations for her to eventually get the camera. I wasn't really surprised that she got it so fast. It was more so like you waited till the 14th the day that you got the camera for us to hang out we could have hung out before this she didn't say like my first off, off day is two weeks from now on the 14th like obviously 
you don't get you don't work two weeks straight and then get an off day like most jobs and i the, the job that she worked at she told me i'm not gonna say where she worked at because i feel like that's doing too much but definitely she got an off day every week if not two so um yeah that was kind of weird but she ended up getting the camera and me being supportive whatever screenshots i have of this i'm gonna show you guys i'm pretty sure that this was like before i got my new phone so I, i'm not gonna have everything i didn't get everything on off of the icloud or whatever but whatever i do have some stuff that i found yesterday so i'm gonna put that on the screen but like i'm like um oh my gosh like oh you in there now like you finna be lit turn you up like you know what i'm saying you finna turn up like make your videos type shit me and her end up meeting in atlantic station at the top of atlantic station i don't know if it's still there but there was this little cart where these guys they were selling um macarons i don't know if it was just macarons but that's all we got i text her and i'm like i'm here where you at like um you want to park near me because i think that i had got there a little bit before her because i live closer to the city than she does so i was like i'm here where you at let me know i'm parked at b2 let's just pretend i was parked at b2 and she was like okay i'm coming up um bet so she parks up next to me and i'm like waving but she got tinted windows just like i do so couldn't really see each other and i'm like okay i'm gonna get out the car so i get out the car she gets out the car and y'all she's literally like this like let's pretend that this is a camera like a film camera her g7x mark ii it's on a whole ass tripod and she's like hey and she's got the camera like in my face so i'm just like hey like my job i looked cute because like if i'm going out with my friend or we're going to like meet up or whatever i'm gonna get cute so i looked cute but i wasn't under the impression that we were going to be filming or anything we didn't talk about filming or nothing um but she blogged the entire time that we hung out um not to say that i didn't enjoy myself she's really funny like she's cool or whatever but just me being me i would never bring my camera somewhere and vlog my first time meeting a new friend my first time hanging out with somebody i would just never do that even as somebody who vlogs i wasn't about to tell her that she can't vlog like like i said i'm not nobody to tell somebody what they can and cannot do but i didn't have my camera and i was like i said something like girl why you didn't tell me that we was vlogging or whatever and she was just like oh i just wanted to vlog since i got the camera today and i was like okay like i'm not gonna fault her she got her camera today she's excited so i'm not even gonna hold her about that like it's not that deep it's not that deep so um yeah but she vlog she vlogged the entire time like i don't remember a time that we were there that she wasn't filming like what we were doing or whatever so i was just like whatever so um we go home or whatever and she ends up facetiming me the next day and she's like hey what are you doing today and i was like girl i'm not doing nothing so she was like you want to come over and i was like okay and she sends me her location or whatever and i pull up on her apartment um she got a cute little apartment or whatever i go over there and we're chilling or whatever we literally ordered some pizza i'm like this is more my vibe okay this is more this is more chessa like we're gonna order some food we're probably gonna watch a movie or we're probably gonna like watch youtube or something i don't know so um yeah she orders pizza probably like 20 minutes past like like by the time the pizza gets there it was like nothing but like 20 minutes the pizza gets there and we start eating or whatever and we're like i'm looking for something to put on the tv i'm like you want to watch something and she's just like yeah and then i'm putting something on the tv mind you she went to school i don't remember what college she went to i think it was um some like community college which no shade when i say that y'all I, I literally went to a community college before i dropped out and um yeah so she had a macbook already which is great if you want to do youtube having a macbook to edit on is great so she pulls out her macbook or whatever and she starts editing she keeps asking me to help her tweak little things on her video and at this point i don't know 15 minutes past of whatever i put on the tv my pizza is eaten already and she has been in the computer the whole entire time editing so i end up helping her with a few things editing or whatever and she was like okay yeah just like let me finish this video or whatever because she wants to upload it soon so i'm just like okay i spend the entire time there pretty much helping her edit her video and eating pizza and then watching the damn movie by myself so it ends up getting pretty late i end up going home and then she hits me up a couple days later we haven't really spoken in between the time but she hits me up a couple days later and she's like um can you go to the mall with me i want to look at a couple things um i don't remember what she wanted to, i think she wanted to go to the ug store or something i don't really i don't remember I, I know that we went to lennox together and she was like you want to go to lennox with me and i was like cool we end up meeting together meeting up at the mall or whatever and she brought her camera again um i don't know 
I don't know, some people in the comments might say, Chessa, you should have told her, like, not to bring her camera, or you should have said you didn't feel like vlogging, you just wanted to spend time, just y'all two, which I do end up saying that, you guys, but not this time. We end up getting there, or whatever, and she's vlogging, like, y'all, I'm telling you, walking out the car, straight out the car, she's like, hey girl, like, we're linking up again, y'all, and she's like, Chessa the brat, and I don't know, that just gave me the ick, like, I was just like, I don't never like when people call me Chester the Brat in real life. Y'all, I don't even want my YouTube name to be Chester the Brat no more. I don't even want any of my names to be Chester the Brat no more. But, like, I already have a jingle and I, I really like the jingle. So, I'm going to keep it. But when I do change my name to Chester Kiana, I'm going to just keep the jingle. Because at the end of the day, I'll always be Chester the Brat too. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, we get to the mall. She's vlogging the whole thing. We're going to Auntie Anne's. We're going to the Ugg store. We're looking in Dior. Or, not Dior. We're looking in um, Louis Vuitton. We're looking in all the little fancy shops. We're like, I'm having a good time. I just wish there wasn't a camera in my face the entire time. So, um, yeah, we end up doing that. Her camera ends up dying, thank God. And y'all, her energy completely changes after her camera dies. I'm talking about she's being dry. She's not really making no jokes no more. She's not really wanting to go to, like, while she was filming, I was like, you want to go to Spencer's? She's like, yeah, let's go to Spencer's. And I'm like, you want to go to Hot Topic? Or not Hot Topic, what the fuck? I'm like, you want to go to Spencer's? She's like, yeah. You want to go to Icing? You want to go to Bath & Body Works? She's like, yeah, 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 let's go. She's just down to go to all the stores. And then once her camera dies, she's kind of just like, oh, I don't really feel like looking in there. And then, like, 10 minutes later, y'all, after her camera died, which we hadn't been there for more than an hour at this point, she's like, um, are you ready to go? I didn't think we was gonna be there for four hours but we hadn't even been there for a whole hour and literally Lennox is over an hour away from her place and for me it's like a good 30 minutes so I don't know I just thought we would be there a little longer or maybe go grab lunch after I don't know but she was like are you ready to go and I was like I guess girl like we can go if you want to so we end up leaving and then a couple days later, she ends up hitting me up, and she's just like, hey, do you want to um, do something today? She doesn't say what. She just said, do you want to do something today? And I ended up telling her um, that, I, that we can hang out, but that I would rather us hang out just me and her, no cameras, no filming or whatever. I didn't really want to, you know, vlog or whatever. And she's just like, that's cool. Um, like It was just like, that's cool, period, or whatever. And I was like, okay. So, um, I invite her over to my house. So, she comes over to my house, we're chilling, we're watching a movie, we're watching TV. Then, she ends up asking me why I never vlog when I go out with her. Which, mind you, I do vlog, like, y'all know I vlog, um, not every week, probably like every other week I do like a week vlog. Um, but the times that we were hanging out, I never did vlog. And I, that's just me, like, if I'm getting to know somebody or I'm first meeting them, I'm not gonna put them on my channel, not because you're not good enough to be on my channel but just like i've had bad experiences with people i don't want to have to delete my video because me and you got beef because you did something weird to me and now you're on my channel or i just would rather organically get to know people than worry about cameras and filming and stuff like that like i don't have to film like what do you mean why didn't i because i didn't want to like what so yeah she asked me why i never um vlog whenever i'm with her so I ended up telling her, I was just like, oh, I just didn't want to, um, the days that we hung out, I just wanted to, like, really, um, enjoy our time or whatever. So she looks at me, and she's like, oh, so you didn't enjoy your time because I was filming? Did I say that? <laughs> I was like, no, I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I wanted to focus on, like, us hanging out because I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't really know you like that, and I didn't want to have to worry about filming and stuff like that. I know, I normally don't film when I first meet people or whatever. And she was just like, oh, so I shouldn't have filmed. And like, um, she was just like, oh, if you were bothered by me filming, then you should have said something. Or like, you could have told me if you had a problem with me filming. And I was like, first of all, I was in my head, like, I really hope that this doesn't turn to like a turn of events where I have to drag this bitch out of my house. Like, I just started feeling like in my heart, her energy start to change. And I was just like, no, like, don't take me the wrong way. I didn't have a problem with you filming. I'm just saying why I didn't film because you're asking me why I didn't film. And she was like, yeah, but with your, like, I asked you why you didn't film, but your answer is basically telling me that you would rather have me not film when we hung out. And I was just like, okay, first of all, I don't like your attitude. You're in my house, number one. So you might want to tread lightly and be careful because this is my house. You either leave somebody's house or you respect them in their house. You don't ever want to get feisty with somebody in their own house. 
um so yeah with me not really liking how she started to talk to me or whatever i was like well honestly i didn't honestly i would have rather you not film with us first hanging out but i wasn't about to tell you what to do and she was just like oh um like y'all heard demeanor completely changed like i wish i was making this shit up but this is why you don't invite people over your house that you don't really know as well as you should so she just like oh so you had a problem with me filming you're the only one that can film you're the only one that can be a youtuber and i was just like is this real life like are you serious right now and i was just like first of all i'm not about to do that with you i'm not about to go back and forth i didn't have a problem with you filming i just didn't necessarily like that you filmed every time that we hung out and i personally wouldn't have done that which is why i didn't do that but i still enjoyed my time with you which is why you're here right now which is why you're at my house right now and why i continue to hang out with you even after the first second time that you did that and she was just like oh well um I wanted to start my YouTube channel and I wanted to build it and I start I'm starting from zero so I wanted to I wanted to vlog I got the camera and I was just like girl that's fine but don't ask me why I didn't film and then get a problem with my response you get what I'm saying like I don't like that so she's just like okay um well since you have such a problem with me filming I guess I just won't film anymore and I was just like what is happening right now like I have never met such like just childish conversation like this is such senseless meaningless conversation so i was just like i don't really know why you got this type of energy with me you asked me why i haven't been filming i thought we were here to watch movies and shit like i thought we was here to just vibe like just vibe it damn just vibe bitch i think i came up with some type of excuse like i texted somebody and, and like had them call me and like i just tried to you know get the situation because i was home alone at the time so i was just like i think I, I created some type of excuse for her to have to leave earlier and she ended up leaving or whatever and then she ended up texting me y'all like i didn't even end up texting her and i think that she texted me like on the way home because she lived about like 25 minutes away from me which isn't super far but like it hadn't been like seven minutes since she left my house that she sent me like this long ass paragraph she must have been using siri to type it or something that was just like um, I should have known better trying to be friends with a quote-unquote influencer um, You the only one who wants to be a youtuber. I hope that you don't treat your other friends like that not supporting them and what they want to do um, I think that it's really weird that you had a problem with me filming when that's literally what you do for a living Like I'm talking about I'm gonna show you guys the message on the screen So y'all know what I'm talking about like she's saying all of this stuff and I was just like literally she texted me this like seven minutes after walking out of my door so i don't know if she was sitting in the parking lot typing this or if she was typing this while she was driving or texting and driving or what like she, she was risking her life to send me this message y'all so i ended up sending her a voice memo I, if i can find the voice memo because i saved it i'm gonna show y'all <laughs> whoa first of all i don't know why you were talking like that because first of all every time that we hung out you had a fucking camera in my face and i didn't say shit to you Second of all, I'm the one who encouraged you to do your YouTube shit when you told me you wanted to start a YouTube channel. What did I say? I told you that you should do it. You asked me what camera I use. I sent you the link to that shit on Amazon. You asked me what I used to edit. I told you both editing softwares. I gave you links to how I learned how to do it. I told you a, be a, a cheaper way to start off and then how Final Cut is easier and better once you learned how to work iMovie. I told you all that shit. And I told you I'll help you edit your first video or whatever. I literally came over your house the second time hanging out with you. And I edited your whole video damn near the whole time we was there. You wasn't even paying attention to what we was watching. You wasn't even talking to me for real. I was really just there to help you with your video, which is what you should have said. If you wanted me to come over and help you with your video, that's what you should have said. Well, you asked me, did I want to come over? You didn't say nothing about editing your video till I got there. And then after that. Every time we hung out with each other, you were filming. And I didn't say nothing to you. If I said something to you, then you probably would have really been thinking that I wasn't trying to support what you was doing. I was supporting what you was doing fully. I literally told you when you post your first video that I'll, I'll repost it with the link on my story. I support all of my friends, even my new friends, even people that I'm becoming friends with. I don't, I don't never not support somebody. So you really trying to fuck out of me saying that. And I don't appreciate that. I don't know why. You, you was just here. You literally just left. It ain't even been 10 minutes. You really decide to send me this long ass message once you leave out of my house that you could have said this shit to my face? She ends up saying some weird shit like, um, I'm gonna find the message. I think that I have one of those little zoomed in pictures. But she ends up saying something like, um, you talking real crazy for me to know where you live at. Mm. B-F-F-R. What did that spell? B-fucking-for-real.
babe if you watched my videos if you knew me as an influencer one thing you would know about me is i know how to fight and i don't back down from no fight so i don't know why you're even saying that you know where i live as if that's supposed to spook me in some type of way as if i'm supposed to care in some type of way i don't care you can do a u-turn right now and come back to my house come back to my house right now and we can literally handle this this is literally my property we can handle it i promise you but it's not gonna end pretty for you because you're on my property you get what i'm saying this girl went from zero to a hundred like i don't know if she had been an avid watcher of my videos and just wanted to i don't know just get all the tips and tricks from me and not really care to have like an actual genuine friendship with me or not the moment that we hang out without vlogging at my house she decides to bring up like as soon as she got there like not even 20 minutes after sitting on the couch she, she wants to bring up how i never vlog i just felt like that was weird because like bitch why are you trying to check me about if i vlog or not like that don't got nothing to do with me like i don't know what you're talking about i really should have tried to i really should have told her to get the f out of my house after even asking me a question like that but like after she after we talked about it like she stopped talking about it she got on her phone and it was just awkward so i created some type of some situation for her to end up leaving out the house and then i get a text message from her and she really thought that she ate and after i told her that she can come like she can come back i was like my message my response back to that was like i was literally like I mean, if you want to come back, you can come back. Because she had just left. I'm telling you, I got that message like 7 to 10 minutes after she left my house. She ended up blocking me. I always end up getting blocked by people in these story times. But y'all, literally, my messages stopped sending to her. I like, I put like a question mark like 5 minutes after that. And I thought maybe her phone died. But like, literally like a couple hours went by. I ended up like sending her a period trying to see if like I was blocked or not. And I was blocked. I just had to get this story out the way before I tell you guys. Um, A story that happened today, actually. I literally tell or you guys let me know if y'all want to hear the story of um when this like psychic medium or this holistic um doula person person who reads your palm and stuff this palm reader tried to scam me today and we got into it so let me know if y'all want to hear that story um but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you comment like and subscribe comment other videos that you guys want to see from me turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below y'all i didn't used to be able to say that whole thing like with no breath and like no pause period don't play with me and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one bye